everyone and welcome to making rival stars into the best horse game with my ideas. Today I will attempt to explain, edit and show you my ideas to make rival stars into the best horse game. Of course you can comment all of your ideas down below and tell me which of my ideas you liked and didn't like. Starting off we will look at the racing portion of rival stars horse racing. Overall, this portion of the game is beautifully polished with incredible models, coats, animations, and racing gameplay. But here are a few suggestions I have that might just take it to the next level. Adding Steeplechase. Now, despite Steeplechase being the number one most dangerous sport for horses, in Rival Stars, they are both immortal and immune to falling and injury. I don't know why they didn't go for this before cross country, but ah oh well. They could very easily add large hedge jumps to our pre-existing maps if the course is big enough, of course. How I would imagine it working is that you would either have to time the jump correctly, otherwise your horse would brush the jump, therefore slowing you down and making you fall behind. Or it could be that it takes up some of your sprint bar, so you have to be more aware of how much energy you're using. I prefer the first option, but let me know which version you liked better or how you would add it. Let us see our replays. Now I say this for the other categories, but it would be awesome if we could view a replay of our race, as in the ones we jockey ourselves. This would open up new possibilities to improve technique, show off your runs, and make new and more interesting content. Letting us change the camera angle. In conjunction with adding our replays, letting us change our camera angle when watching said replay or when spectating would again open up a whole new world for video content and photos. The angles are actually already in the game, but when spectating they randomly cycle through. So it would be nice to have some control when watching our races, perhaps adding hotkeys like 1 through 5 to seamlessly change the angles as that would work pretty well. Let us watch races in slow-mo. Again, adding on to the more creative side, letting us apply slow motion when spectating a race would be amazing. I mean, I saw this official Rival Stars ad and this made me very jealous of slow-mo and awesome games like Tales of Rain Ravine and Red Dead all have slow motion. Just adding a hotkey to toggle between normal speed, slow motion and super slow-mo would be perfect. Now, cross country is a pretty new feature, but it was on mobile way before PC. But the update we got kinda sucked in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that they branched out, but the game mode needs a lot of work. Good thing we're here to give some ideas. Add a proper starting gate. Unlike racing where you stand in the gate and gallop when the doors are open, in cross country you have this like fence box thing, which they do have in the game, but you don't normally just stand in the box. As demonstrated by this footage from Elisa Wallace eventing, you usually trot or canter into and through the start box. To help, they could add a little area behind the start box where you could trot or canter in circles until you're ready. But then when you go into the box, that's when your timer starts. It's more of a realism thing, but considering the gameplay of racing is pretty realistic, I'd like to see that reflected in the cross country too. Let me replay my run, change camera angles and add slow-mo. Pretty much three of our points for racing, but it would be super cool to have it in cross country too. Being able to see your replay would help you see your mistakes, film cool shots and get great photos. Having a jump shot camera, a GoPro angle, and more would really flesh out this section and make it far more worthwhile. Have the horses anticipate a jump. Again, more of a realism thing, but these horses all absolutely charge towards any fence. It would be nice to have the rider sit in preparation, maybe the horse give a head toss, and if they wanted to go the extra mile, they could even have the experienced jumpers need to have a bit of encouragement by you either pushing space to get them over or even pressing W to give them an extra kick. Not super necessary, but certainly would add to the finished product. Remove the chime sounds. Now, this might just be a personal thing, but if you switch off music and commentary, unlike when racing where it's dead silent apart from hoofbeats and the crowd right at the end, 
In cross country, you get this chime sound when you go over a jump every single time. Now the science behind this is that the chime or success sound is meant to give you a small dose of serotonin as it makes your brain go, oh, I made it, yay, happy noise. But this ruins anyone wanting to use hoof sounds and I personally find it really annoying. The horse just won't jump if I miss, so I don't really need the sound effect to tell me that. It's kind of giving Star Stable races. Welcome to my anti-idea. Don't add show jumping. Bet you weren't expecting that, huh? Why I say this? Well, to put it simply, we already have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of games that do or have show jumping. The bar has been set super high by Tales of Rain Ravine with its hyper-realistic controls. And the bar is also on the floor from Equestrian the game. Sorry, guys. So in short, show jumping would just ruin Rival Star's whole draw fast paced action and grindy training. Sure, show jumping can be fast, but it's nothing like on the track or even flying around a cross country course. So I personally say leave the show jumping for other games to nail or butcher. What do you think? More tag. This most likely is already coming, but I really, really do like the design of the single cross country tag set we already have. It fits the horse super well and looks great. Now just give me it in 10 different colors, even if it's just different shades of brown. Coming full circle, a proper ending to the cross country races. At the moment, the horses just kind of stop after the last jump. While of course in real life, there would be a big open area for them to slow down and cool off properly. I'd still like to see a proper slowing down and maybe a trot around once we've done our races. Free Roam was a semi-recent update and it could have been the creative hub for roleplay, videos, photos and immersion, but it's not. To be honest, Free Roam kind of sucks, but here is how we make it better. Starting off with the obvious, let us move our cameras. Simple stuff really, I gain nothing from being in the exact same third person camera angle. Give us a few options, and if they wanted to go the extra mile, letting us set camera points so we could do some really cool shots for video. Let us control the horse properly. At the moment, when you start free roam, your horse is just standing still. To move, you hold down space. However, if you let go, then your horse is in a permanent canter. Holding space again will make it gallop, and holding S will bring your horse to a halt, but you have to keep holding. I'd like to be able to cycle between halt, walk, trot, canter, and gallop. As the animations are there, we just can't access them properly. A simple tap to W to go faster and S to go slower would suffice, but I'm open to hearing your suggestions since my idea wasn't particularly creative. First person. While I can imagine it's a nightmare to develop, having first person in races, cross country, free roam would be heaven. It could change our perception of the game, make it more immersive and even make it harder. The jumping portion I can imagine is tricky to get right, but I have no doubt the pickpock could pull it off. It would improve gameplay, photos, videos, and even turn the game into something role players can enjoy. Despite the menu based system, the actual gameplay is incredible, so give us more. More free roam maps. Let me free roam on the tracks too. The map is already there, so just let us use it. I'm sure they will give us more maps in the future, but even simple things like an arena, access to a few tracks, and even a quiet trail would flesh out the game immeasurably. You have the amazing graphics, the great horse models, and the flawless-ish animations, so put them to good use. Even in something like Free Roam, if you give people the tools, they will find a way to play with the game in ways developers don't even think of. And don't underestimate the creative side of this community either. Add training to Free Roam. If you wanted to make the game properly grindy, let people train within Free Roam. You could keep the click training, but if people wanted to train their horses themselves, they could do so in Free Roam. 
Give the horses a little XP every time they go over a jump, or a little more speed XP every time they sustain a gallop. In conjunction with adding the racetrack maps, this could give people a chance to really connect with their horses, fleshes out the game more, and makes it even more grindy, all by using elements that are already in the game. Now let's be honest here, the current multiplayer section is pointless. You can't ride your own horses, you don't earn anything useful, and you can't add people to races manually. Let's be real, no one uses it. The only time I ever used it was on a live stream, which was great, but afterwards completely felt pointless. So let's overhaul it. Let me invite people into a group. This would mean you could open up your own save, and within this multiplayer menu, you could add friends or people via Steam name. Then you could start a race or open free roam, everyone in the party could choose their own horse from their own save. The bigger the max group size, the better. This would give incentive to grind as much as possible, to have the best, the prettiest and the most well equipped horse. Plus there is nothing as strong as some friendly competition. Make a leaderboard. Again, friendly competition would be so good for this game. Making a leaderboard for the most wins, most pot money won, most total wins won, most money won by a single horse, fastest time, personal best, and so on, would set goals for people that would be continuously updating and keeping people engaged with the game. On the downside, it could attract cheaters, and instead of shortcutting and getting game guard, no tea, no shade, they would have to invest in a good anti-cheat. Buying and selling your friend's horses. Ever seen your friend get your dream horse and they don't even want it? Well, instead of going to a new home TM, they could be in a global market or even just a friend's market where you could buy and sell horses knowing that they'd be going to good homes. And finally, here are some quality of life updates I'd like to see. Add a custom mouse. This is super basic, but a custom mouse would just help polish the look of the game. Option to remove the markers above racing horses. Simple change, but when spectating a horse and trying to make it immersive, take photos or shoot video, the massive bouncing arrow is a bit distracting, so give us the option to hide it. Fix the pasture jitter. For some reason, the camera does this constant jittering when viewing a horse in the pasture. It's really annoying and makes the whole section feel rushed. Also, please fix this weird triangle on the horse's belly. Stop inverting the camera. I do not know why they have done this, but if you pull your mouse right in camera mode, it goes left. 0 out of 10, not fun. Stop plastering your logo on everything. Listen, I get it, brand exposure is important, but Rival Stars is a super unique looking horse game, so when someone posts a picture, most will recognise the game. We don't need a massive logo in the corner of every photo, and let me remove the name, grade and get it on Steam sticker. They look bad and make me not post pictures from the game. Bring back the actual gallop pose. For some reason, instead of adding a new pose, they replace the old gallop pose with something more cross-country friendly. Please change it back and add this one separately. Also, fix your rearing pose. The main quest already called this out. Horses have bent fetlocks when rearing. Now, the truth is, Pickpock is a pretty distant company. Their Discord isn't even run by people on the team. They have many other games under their belt, and probably won't see or even care about this video. But hey, if you saw it and enjoyed it, that's all that matters. That's it from me today. Let me know in the comments your ideas and if you prefer mobile or desktop. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.